welcome everybody to this video hi how you doing i don't know why i started it like actually no let's take it out of 10. today what we're gonna be doing is something called hold on let me spell it out for you real quick let me spell it out for you real quick hold on let me get the big monthly and basically i don't know why i, I don't know what the f what was that for no reason all right it's basically everything that i've watched in the month and me giving you a rating and just letting you know what i've watched and i'll i'll just show you my watch list right quick and yeah this is my watch list if you can't tell i have a fuck ton of things on my watch list when I go to my Netflix account, I got three different things. This one is for regular shows. This one is for, uh, no, this was regular TV shows. This one is for movies, and this is for everything like Korean, anime, anything like that. Look how many movies I got on my shit. Oh, One Piece is coming out. Look how many movies I got on my shit. A million, dog. I got so much shit on my list, like, ah, uh, fuck. All right. Let's get these into rating. I'm not a professional movie reviewer. I'm just letting you know what I've watched and how I feel about it. I've watched Blue Streak before. It's one of my favorite movies. I wanted to rewatch it because I haven't watched it in a while. Martin Lawrence is such a great, like, comedic actor. He's so funny for real. And, like, some of the shit that happens in the movie is just so funny. Like, oh, uh, it's just, like, really funny. Uh, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I'd say it's a solid 8 out of 10. It was really funny. Uh, cool action. It was it was just a good movie. Like it was made in 1999, but shit, it was a good movie, dog. Like I don't have nothing to say about it. Now this one was wild. Death at a funeral. Apparently this is like the black version. As I realized when I was typing this into the hold on when I do, look, I didn't know there was this version already. But this movie is not only hilarious but wild as hell because I remember watching this movie. I remember watching it in 2021, somewhere around then. I watched it. I was like, holy shit, this was hilarious. And something happened at the end. And I completely forgot about it. I watched it again this month. And guess what happened? Something happened at the end. Surprised the shit out of me. I was so confused. And then I remembered, holy shit, this happened last time as well. But I completely, like, it was a big twist. It was a great movie. I enjoyed it. It was hilarious. There was just so much shit going on. You know when a movie just has so much shit going on? That is just so like, holy fuck. Like, what's the next shit that's gonna happen? Like, it was just so many problems popping up. So many characters. I don't like the way they introduced it, though. That introduction should have been better. I feel as though it kind of just started and people were driving in towards the funeral. Like, the dude was already dead. Like, I feel as though it should have started with, like, a little bit more, if you get what I mean. Just a little bit more. Just had a little bit longer of an intro scene. Uh, a better introduction to the characters. Because we didn't get no introduction. We kind of just had dialogue. And yo, this is happening. Death at a funeral. They're all wearing black. I guess they're just driving to a funeral. You don't have to explain it. Just let them drive. So they let them drive. And they arrived. And then a bunch of people different arrive. And then some other family members. And yada. And then some shit. Bro, it was it was just crazy. It was a good movie. It was a, It's a great movie to watch at night. To laugh at. It's a great late night comedy. I'd say that. It's a solid 8 as well. Now here we go. How High. I've never watched How High before. Uh, How High apparently is a cult classic. It's like Friday and snakes on a plane and whatnot. I I knew that. I never knew that ever in my life. And I, I'm telling you, tell you right now. This movie. If you're not high, I don't think you'll enjoy this movie. Oh, actually, I don't want to say that. I didn't enjoy it because I don't know. I didn't know I, I did not enjoy it first of all there was a lot of fucked up things in the movie it would like from one something would happen and then the scene would just change and then it'd just be another scene I'd just be like this is cut badly I don't know like the editing was a little weird the scenes were a little bit weird the two characters they weren't bad but it just felt like I would enjoy this more if I was high if you get what I mean 
like the whole movie, I was like, damn, if I smoke some weed right now, I'd probably love this movie. But since I'm not high, it just felt like, eh. It was, just, it was, just, it was like, it wasn't mid though. I don't want to give you a, like it was a mid, like it was still like a decent watch. It just wasn't good enough. Good enough to what I was expecting. I was expecting a Friday out of this. It was nowhere near Friday. Friday is a really good movie just because it's like, not really good movie. It's a, it's a good like movie. But like, this is not in near Friday. This was I. This was a good movie. It was I. But like, it just, I felt like I was missing something as I was watching the movie. I was like, should I be high right now? Do I have to be high to enjoy this movie? And that's the only thought I had during the entire thing. It wasn't bad though. I fuck with it. Next, Mission Possible, a Korean film. I wanted to watch more Korean shit this month. As you can see from my watch list, I have a fuck ton of Korean movies in there. And I haven't watched a bunch of them. I've watched a lot of Korean movies. I just haven't watched all of them. I have a lot on my list that I probably forgot that I watched this month, I'll be honest with you. This is just everything that I remember that I watched this month. I don't really write it down. I kind of just, you know. I should really just check my viewing history. Ah, whatever. So, Mission Possible. This movie is a Korean movie. If you ever know, if you if you know anything about Korean movies, you you'll know like a lot of the shit how it works, how the comedy is, how the action is, how like the entire movie generally goes. One thing about me is I kind of just turned my brain off because I was like, yo, this is about to be a movie where just turn your brain off and you'll enjoy it. And I did. I turned my brain off and I enjoyed it. I didn't think too hard about shit. I liked it. And then at the end, I was like, not the end. Towards the middle end, like after the like the, after the climax, I was like, holy shit, there was a twist. And I was like, holy shit, oh, that's a pretty good twist. Because I didn't think of it at all. And not because I wasn't, not because I couldn't think of it, but because I, I, I wasn't in that mind frame. Like, my head wasn't in that mind space. All I was thinking about was, holy shit, like, what was I thinking about? I was thinking about, like, yo... What's going to happen? How are they going to get out of this situation? What's the end? What's the end? What's going to happen? Yada, yada, yada. That's the only thing I was thinking about. But then, this happened. And I was like, what? what? I, I don't know how to explain it to you, but I got, I got stumped. But I wasn't like, I wasn't in the mood to get stumped, if you get what I mean. I wasn't in the mood. I was like, huh? What the fuck? That's weird. And I just kind of moved past it. But there's no point. This movie, it wasn't bad. I turn my brain off. I enjoy it. It's a solid 7 out of 10. It's above average. It's not above average. It's slightly above average. It's like a 6.5, 7 out of 10. It's not bad. Watch it. If you like Korean film, I don't, I'm not going to guarantee that you like this, but you'll like it. If you don't, don't watch it. If you don't like Korean film, don't watch it. Now, here we got Nonstop. This is on Netflix. I was like, bro, I want to watch a movie tonight. No, no, it wasn't tonight. It was during the middle of the day. I was like, I want to I want to No, it wasn't. It was in the morning. I don't know what time it was. I want to watch a movie right now, and I watched this one. I'm not a movie watcher, but this is one of the movies I like to, like, I, it's not one of the movies I like to watch. I'm not a movie watcher, but I want to get into movie watching, so this is one of the movies that I watch to get into movie watching. This movie is just straight thriller. I don't think I need to explain anything to you in this movie. This movie literally is, uh, how do I explain? Movies literally like, uh... A thriller. I can't really explain it very well. Movies a thriller. I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was horrible. But it was kind of just like, bro, like, how do I explain? Damn, this is really hard to explain. It just felt like they were up in the stakes. Like, you know when you're watching a thriller and it's just like, huh, 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 what's going to happen? What's going to happen? It was, it was like that. But I really was just like, man, this is not really like. I didn't feel scared at all, even though the situation that, well, was that, that the movie was putting me in was like, holy shit, if this happened to me in real life, I'd be scared as hell. But watching the movie, I didn't feel a single thing. I didn't feel thrilled. I didn't feel scared. I didn't feel hyped. I didn't feel anything. I liked the action, the dialogue, you know, Liam Neeson. I liked the characters too. I liked the way it ended as well. I just, I didn't feel the, 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 the threat. I didn't, I didn't get the threat, if you get what I mean. I, I didn't feel it, bro. I just didn't feel it. It was It's a solid 5 out of 10. It's not It's not horrible. It's not mid, though. You know, it's a 6 out of 10. It's not mid. It's not mid. Now, this movie is really good. If you like action comedies, watch this. This is a really good movie. I like the comedy in it. I like the action in it. Channing Tatum is Channing Tatum. He's not the Channing Tatum that we know and love from Dog, which is one of my favorite movies that I watched like three months ago. Oh, was he in... 
I didn't know he was. Oh, he was uncredited as a train passenger. Where is it? Uh, what movie was it? Twenty One Jump Street is obviously the movie that everybody knows him from. But dog, dog, I watched this movie on Amazon. It was a good movie. I fucked with it. I fucked with it heavy. But yeah. Channing Tatum, he's Channing Tatum, the 21 Jump Street Channing Tatum. Jamie Foxx is Jamie Foxx. You know who Jamie Foxx is. This movie was great. I enjoyed it. I liked the action. I liked the comedy. It's a straight up movie. If it's not, you know what I hate about people? People like, they always try to give like meanings to movies and things that you need to know. And holy shit, this is so much deeper. Bro, this is just a movie. If you like action comedy, watch it. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. I guarantee it. It's don't look for anything else in it though. Just look for that nice action and comedy. That's it. Sandcastle. Okay, now this movie is a fucking. It's the middest of mid. It, it felt like there was something there though. It felt like there was something there, and they just didn't hit that something. There was something there, and it didn't hit that something. I just don't know why it didn't hit it though. So. I got into a little bit of a war thing. I have like four four war movies. I had Sandcastle, Jarhead, War Machine, and Green Zone. I only watched two of them. The other two I haven't watched yet. I got to watch like four movies today by the end of the day or else they're going to be gone on Netflix forever. So I'm about to watch all four of them tonight, hopefully. But Sandcastle is one of those movies where I don't know how to explain it. It just like there was just a bunch of shit where I was just like, all right, bruh. It wasn't mid. It was bad. It was like a four. It was like a four. Because mid is like, dude, I'm watching this movie and nothing is outstanding. It's just, ah, whatever. You know? Mid is just like, yeah, whatever. Like, you watch the movie, then you don't really care. This had good things. The cinematography in some areas were great. I like the music. I like the actors. I like the dialogue. But there was just some random scenes where in the middle of something, this dude would just go out and sit. And then you just get a long 5 to 10 seconds, maybe even 15, of just staring at the main character. And I'm just like, okay. What? And then, like, the way that his character developed, ah, it was ass. It was ass. And then the way that the movie ended, two people got injured. We don't know what the fuck happened to them at all. Spoiler alert, I don't give a fuck. This movie is ass. It's a four. It might even be a three. This movie's ass as fuck. Now, this one is, is true mid. I don't think I've watched a war movie and been like, damn, I shouldn't have watched that. Not because it's bad or anything, but because I just didn't give a fuck. And I get that the mental state deteriorates, but the whole movie, I was just like, ah, man, when am I going to finish this movie? Like, I, I just didn't care the whole time. I don't know how to explain it, but this movie just didn't bring anything out of me. It's truly a mid-movie. As a war movie, though, I'd give it like a, a 2 out of 10. As a, like war movies, as a war movie, it's a 2 out of 10. As a movie in general, it's a 5 out of 10. Because it's, a, it's not a bad movie, but for war movies, you have to be a little bit better. Like, be more introspective or be more, you know, like, this is really just about... How a bunch of soldiers were stuck in the desert for a while because uh, Desert Storm or Desert Spiral or whatever the fuck they were called. That that time of the era. And yeah, I, I just, it, it just, I don't think this is for me. I didn't enjoy it at all. I, it's, it was mid. It was mid. Now next, as you can see, the rest of these videos are, are uh, stand-ups. I'm going to try to get through these quick. I got back into my stand-up bag. I am a stand-up guy. I love stand-up. I love watching it. Uh, there's so many, what, likability is a prison? There's so many movies that I've watched that I was like, holy shit, you know? But, uh, yeah, this is a stand-up that I enjoyed, really enjoyed, because I watch John Mulaney. I know who John Mulaney is. I like John Mulaney, but guess what, people? I didn't know this dude was a drug addict or, uh, on coke or whatever at all. So I was a little bit confused and I was like, why is this guy so unhinged now? Because back in the day, he used to make that silly <laughs> comedy, right? I still liked it because it was silly. It was funny, though. I liked the stories and he divorced his wife, apparently, which 
he used to talk about her in so many of his stand-ups. I was like, how do you divorce her if you love her that much? I don't know, man. It was just weird, like, coming into the stand-up. I didn't know he divorced his wife or had a cocaine addiction. And I learned that through the stand-up. But it was so funny because this is a different style compared to everything that he's ever done. This is so unhinged. This is just he let himself go. He let himself talk about it. And it's just like he cursed a lot. And I don't remember this guy cursing. And there was a kid in the audience. It was great though. I enjoyed it. I want more of this. I want another one. John Mulaney. Give me another hour of stand up. Dance monkey. Oh that's a little bit. Hold on let me relax. It was great. I really enjoyed it. Alright let's, 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 let's do Burt Kreischer. Let's do it in order. In order. So the first one obviously is, is really great. There's a lot of good stories. Uh. It's, it's great. It's funny. Uh, this is... I, I don't really categorize as Burt Kreischer as a funny joke guy. But as a really good storyteller. Because there's so many stories that he told that were really great. And I really enjoyed it. And it was just... Oof. I loved it. If I were to rate these stand-ups, I'd put the machine first. Because that machine story, the first time I heard it, was one of the great... Grays, I was about to say craziest and greatest at the same time. So I fucked it up. My bad. But... Greatest and craziest stories I've ever heard ever. So I really enjoyed that. Razzle Dazzle is next, and then Hey, no, nah, Secret Time is better than Hey Big Boy. Uh, yeah, this machine thing, it was great. I enjoyed it. It was not bad. I liked the stories. It was pretty funny. Uh, I didn't really laugh a lot, but it, it was like a funny thing. Razzle Dazzle, though, this one is like, I, I like this one because in Secret Time, it just felt like. I don't know how to explain it, but not as much as I like. I enjoyed the stories in this one. I enjoyed a lot of the things that happened in this one, but it, it just wasn't like, I don't know how to explain it. It wasn't as good as the first one. It the, the sequel is always worse than the original, and this one was evident. It was just a, a weaker version. Now, this one was pathetic. This one was actually like one of the ones where there were some lights in here but as a comedy i don't really recommend it the stories are still good but i didn't laugh at all i think during this one i don't remember laughing i don't remember laughing and that's my problem i didn't re i don't remember laughing at this and that's why i don't like it now razzle dazzle he came back he gave some of that energy i really liked it i was like okay i, ca I can mess with this and I, I just enjoyed it. I liked the short. I liked the stories this time. I laughed a lot more. And I remember I liked this more than Secret Time and Hey Big Boy. By the way, I really already watched all three of those. I just rewatched it because I watched this one, and then I watched the other two, and I was like, okay, I watched this one. I was like, oh okay, yeah, I want, I want to go back and rewatch it, and I fuck with it heavy. Live at the Red Rocks. I watched this very early on in the year. Didn't like it at all, but was bored at work, and I wanted something to listen to. And then I was like, you know what, let me give this another chance. And holy shit, did I give it another chance. Holy fuck, I thought Bill Burr fell off. I thought he fell off because, hold on. Oh, he's in the guilty? I didn't know that. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta type his name in. Okay. Out of all of these... Why do I do this wasn't bad, but let it go was amazing. You people are the same complete banger. I think this is his best one. This one, I'm sorry you feel that way. There was so many misses in this one, but there was great hits. Like, but overall, it had too many misses for me to like it too much. Walk your way out. It was also the same as as this one. These two were both kind of. I feel like there were a lot of like jokes where I was just like ah, ah. Uh, there were still like great things in there. It just felt like an overall. Like these two overall, I enjoyed everything in there. Everything. Especially this one. But these two, it just felt like there was a lot of misses. Paper Tiger, he hit on this one. He hit hard. I enjoyed it. I loved it a lot. Then live at the Red Rocks. I hated it the first time. The second time I rewatched it, I fucking enjoyed it. It was a great fucking show. I, I wish I was there. Now, let's watch uh, Zero Fuck Skip. Hold on. I forgot to add something else. Oh, man. I'm forgetting. 
This dude makes too many fucking movies, man. Ah, oh, I forgot. He was in Death at a Funeral. Uh... Okay. All right. So Kevin Hart as a, as a, as a, as a freaking stand-up artist, a stand-up comedian, and a movie guy is completely different. Kevin Hart as a stand-up comedian, it was just a little bit. Mm. It started off so well. Seriously funny. I'm a grown little man. Laugh at my pain. Laugh at my pain. That was like Kobe and Shaq going back to back to back. It was hits after hits after hits. I enjoyed every single one of it. And it felt fresh. It felt new. Then Let Me Explain came out. And I was like, bro, this just feels so... Ah, the jokes just don't feel good. Like, it just felt like, mm, I don't really like this, but it wasn't bad. What now? He kind of reeled me back. He reeled me back a little bit. And then I was like, okay, this, there's some good parts in this, but overall, it's still a mess. Like, bro, go back to your roots and st be a little bit more experimental. It sounds like all his jokes come off with the same melody, the same pauses, the same com comedic timings, the same type of joke, the same type of characters, the same type of stories. It just felt the same. And But there were great parts in this. That's why I enjoyed it. And then Irresponsible came out, and I was like, fuck this nigga fell off, because that whole fucking thing was dog shit i didn't get through it though i didn't finish it but the first i i swear 30 minutes was complete dog shit i was like i'm not watching this bro i hated it so then when zero f's given came out i didn't watch it i didn't watch it. i was like bro i give up on this guy it's irresponsible it was dog shit it was horrible i fucking hated it horribly i didn't give us the chance recently i watched it and holy fuck same timing same things but there were small, precise little, if you looked really close and got a microscope, there were some good jokes in there. But still, overall, it felt like Kevin Hart hasn't evolved, hasn't changed, hasn't changed his direction towards comedy, hasn't changed his way to look at comedy. It just felt like the same exact thing. It, it was horrible. I hated it. I didn't like this at all. There were some great things in there. There were some hits in there. But... It was 69 minutes, I'd say 49 of those were misses, and only 29 of those were hits. Then you come with reality check, and this was what made me watch Zero F's Given. This shit was good. Out of the 60 minutes on this show, I'd say maybe 10 or 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes were kind of a miss. There were some jokes where, like, it's like, I know Kevin Hart so much. I know his setup. I know the punchline. I know... The setup, I know the way he's going to start a joke. I know the way he's going to end it. I know his tones, how he goes up and down, and how he pauses, how he repeats things. I know Kevin Hart. But then this one, it was like a like a reversal. I was like, holy shit. Damn, he really tried something new. He tried. He just, he's experimenting. He's getting out of that same bag that he always does. This shit is really good. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this one. I was like, finally. The Kevin Hart I know and love is back after all these years. Only took him 10 years. Because Let Me Explain came out in 2020, 2013. So it took him 10 years to get back to his roots. This dude went way too Hollywood on us. But, yeah. It was great. And then uh, I watched the new Tom Segura Sledgehammer. I got like 5 minutes into it. I was like, hold on, let me rewatch the old one. I rewatched mostly stories. Oh, I, I, didn't, I, I remember watching this the first time. I really enjoyed it. But the first half is great. Second half I didn't really enjoy. And that's it. This movie, this shit is getting way too long. That's it for this video. Those are everything that I've watched. I've watched movies. I've watched stand-ups. I haven't really watched any shows this month. I'm going to watch a lot more. As you've seen from my watch list. My goal this month is to watch two animes. Uh, at least ten different movies. I'm not going to really watch stand-up this month. Maybe a couple of them. But at least ten, maybe fifteen movies. And at least one TV show to completion. And two animes to completion. I want three shows to be done. Oh, four shows. One Korean show. Two animes. Actually, no, let's just make it three. One regular TV show. One anime. And one uh, thing. I really want all three of those to just hit. I really want them to hit. And uh, and a couple, a bunch of movies. A bunch of random movies. Some on Netflix. Some on Peacock. Some on Amazon Prime. Some online. We'll see. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you made it this far, please subscribe, like the video, comment. Uh, peace.